Hello and welcome. Welcome. We welcome. are blowing bubbles today. And here are the few of the cards. Are these amazing? I think that is so fun. So we'll look at those later. But first, of course, we want to welcome our special guest, Hank, our grandson. Hello. Who is 11 years old and he has a new hat on. Where'd you get this hat? Milwaukee Brewers game. They just went to Milwaukee. Um, you want to go see all of the... MLB Stadium. Uh, yeah, that's one of his wish lists. So he and his family and. and his dad, they're working on it. So how many have you seen? Six, I think. Yeah. So that's a, that's a cool um, ambition to do. So whenever they're going somewhere, they're visiting friends in Indiana, they see where there is that they can fit in a game. But a shout out to Indiana. They went to Rensselaer to visit friends. That's yeah, true. that's cool too. So a couple quick... So Tim... Tim gets to just sit and hang out and watch for a while. But um, so because yeah. there isn't room, this isn't a three on the bench kind no. of a deal. No. Right? So we'll catch you at the end. <laughs> okay. And first we have, well, good. That's so nice. Who says, hi, Hank. We always enjoy having you help with the things. So it's so fun. We can have them here in the summer. Just a couple quick reminders before we get started. This most stunning paper. This is one of the cards. I just put a video up yesterday. If you saw it on the card kit and how to, how to make all the cards in it. And a week from, is it a week from Tuesday or is it next Tuesday? I don't even remember. When we have the All Good Cards Club. Oh, but, but whenever it is, uh, we are doing all kinds of panel, panel cards. And this is just a really, really cute one. And that's it. And that is the host code. Oh, and someone had a sentence and I forgot to write it out. So we do have a sentence coming on the next time. And it didn't say Volkswagen Jet. It was completely different. Uh, but it, it was great. So it's okay. And this is our giveaway. This is from G Jean Shoot, and it is going to Gina Lemick. So Gina, just send me a message with your address. Got your name on it, set aside. And the giveaway for this week was sent to us by Linda Alderson from Texas. Uh, I opened it to show you what it was. This is, I love these dies. These are retired and I did, um, one of our card kits of the month was with these dies. So if you look on Pinterest, there are so many gorgeous things you can make. These are standalone dies, and they're fabulous. All I need to do is be able to see your name. So comment, share. We just love it all. Okay. Goodbye. If we count to three and slide, then we'd push them off the bench. Okay. We could do that. Or one, okay. two, one. three. One, two, three. Whoa, there he goes. <laughs> oh, oh, Marilyn says, very wet. Listen, very Wet Jaguar makes Gwen walk three yards. <laughs> I love it. Okay, that's perfect. All right. So today we are doing techniques and we are doing it. Okay. I'm out of the frame. So I always love to know who's going to work along with us. We have some dish soap, some reinkers, straws, about a quarter cup of water, just a little water in these. And do you know what, Tim? I forgot the cards to talk. <laughs> What? They're on, I have a whole stack of them in the black basket. <laughs> I have a whole stack on the table too, whichever one he can find first. It's going to be hard to make cards without cardstock. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of, <laughs> it's time to put it back on. That's where the Mohali looks. I thought I had this already, but you know, we've been out playing baseball. baseball. We've been out playing. <laughs> I, said, I feel all sweaty, but you know, we pack in the day when Hank comes. So. Um, while he's doing that, let's decide which color straw would you like? Mm. Mm, what do you guys guess he's going to take here? Let's see. I have to see. Oh, oh, At the end, I'm going to have him pick his favorite card. So I don't know how that's going to go either. Maybe, maybe, maybe it'll be a longer shelf than usual. <laughs> I found a black basket that had paper in it. Oh, that'll do. Are you sure? Yeah, and I will. I will just. Okay, this isn't even what I had planned to use, but hey, it's the right kind of paper. Then it doesn't matter what kind of paper. What to have yeah, a stash I thought of you paper? Said it had to be. You can use watercolor paper, uh, and I have one sample, but the other paper works well too. So I, I just I and everyone doesn't have watercolor. So, you know what I do with the watercolor after it dries? I just press it overnight under books, or in my case, under a box of Stampin' Up catalogs, <laughs> and then they're nice and flat. Okay, you pick blue. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to go for this. I'm going to go for yellow. And then for reinkers, when you do bubble, so who's done bubble technique before? Oh, everyone's guessing blue. That is hilarious. A few guessed red, so interesting. Did I find straws to match the Stampin' Up! colors? <laughs> Jackie, yes, that's great. I sent Tim out to get straws because we only, we have one 
um, metal straw for something, but we didn't have any other straws. So we went out and now we have some more. Colors get much lighter when you use them with bubbles. So you're gonna have a, uh, a blue or a red for your color. Red. Red, okay, he's gonna keep you guessing, see? And then you're gonna pick one of these cups. So if everyone's ready, Carla said she made this years ago. So I know, I just think it's fun to bring back old techniques and to do this again. Okay, so I'm going to move it down now. And, okay, so which one's yours? Okay, that one, okay, and you. Okay, so we are going to each put in 10 to 20 drops. I'm gonna put these right where we can see. I'm sorry, that clashes. <laughs> that really, that clashes big time. <laughs> Um, so we don't really need to count, but it's just quite a bit. Six, seven. That being said, I am counting. Just however seven, intense we want it to be. That's probably five, but like 25. Okay. And then we are going to put in just a little bit, just a couple of drops of dish soap. Kathy said she'd never heard of it. So fun. Oh, you can add glycerin. Amy, that's a good point because that will help stabilize the bubbles. We're not doing that today, but if you have glycerin, that try that too. We always enough, love options. We'll see. Okay, and now the first card, you guys, that's it. The first card we're going to make, the first back, we're making backgrounds so we're going to finish the card because I got to press them overnight before I can finish them. But you can see even the cup, yeah. the circle there. So on this one, we're going to blow our bubbles up to the top and then just lay our paper down and hold it and back up. So, because we're doing different techniques. So, hey, um, no, don't suck it up. Don't. Oh, now, you don't want to drink. I made all these outside. So, we're going to see what kind of a mess this makes inside. <laughs> we don't have our set out. It's okay. Okay, we are ready. <laughs> and then you're just going to hold it down and hold it steady. But keep, go blow a few more bubbles. You're good. I'll pick mine up. Now, my, oh, these are so cool. Look at this. What I, one of the things I love about blowing bubbles is that you can never get the same look twice. Um, now this one was more, so I guess mine wasn't as much over the top. Ours spilled out over the top more, but I love that look. I love that this is, yeah, Jean, this is a really fun thing to do with the grandkids. You might prefer to do it outside, <laughs> but, I think, but I just think these are just beautiful. And then you have this whole collection of things afterwards to play with. So this was the first idea just to do this. I mean, they're totally different. Our bubbles today were much bigger. It's just interesting then. But then we have these little clusters. I just added a little cutout fish. So how perfect. And we're gonna set these aside to dry because we may come back to them later. Now the next background we're going to do is gonna be more like this one. Now what's interesting about this, you see how it's just kind of swiped. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put the paper down and swipe it, turn around, swipe it another way. Uh, you can leave white. So this one leaves white. I'm going to do another one here. This one where it's the sky. I thought this could be winter sky too. This, this I really added too much. Um, but it still worked for a sky. But if you look at the difference, I prefer it when you can see the bubbles. But I think what that shows is just how fun that they all turn out differently and you can use them for different things. So now I have a whole little stack of backgrounds to use for things. <laughs> so um, so this is our next one. I'm just going to blow again too. And this time we're just going to swipe across, turn it around, swipe the other way. You can swipe it as much or as little. And we'll see what this desk is going to look like afterwards. Okay, here's mine. I have my white down here. So now I can decide. Oh, I'll just wait. I'll just wait. Just a teeny bit more right there. And they, oh, I like that little soft edge that I got. Okay, I have a I have a towel here that's gonna be totally messed up. <laughs> this, this is really a better outside project, but it's almost fun. <laughs> we're like patriotic here. We've got blue. Oh, red, look at that. White. Whoa. America, American flag DIY on your concrete, if you'd like to. Yes, that's true. But look at this. We could we could punch out stars in the blue, and we could cut this into strips and layer it. Do you see how we could easily make a really cool card? Just when you look at it, you start thinking, oh, that'd be a really cool card. So that is 
this swiping technique. And then um, the next thing we're going to do is add two colors. And I thought, look how soft this is. And it's pretty, but we have two colors here. So this was originally blue. We're going to be adding red and uh, blue. I had three colors okay. when we were outside. Mm -hmm. So that, that would be great for a tie-dye shirt. I'm going to do that as soon as I have a white shirt and bubbles. <gasps> That'd be a great um, idea for a tie-dye shirt change. That would be really fun. Oh, yeah, I'm glad you guys like this. I think mean, this is such a fun idea to do. I just think, uh, um, I yes, I, th I think, I told Hank, whenever he's over, this will be really fun to do some techniques in them for a while and then to just look what we do with them because these are all, they're perfect for all ages. And I just think you can make these stunning cards. But you can see here we have two colors. Yeah. So all we need to do, we're going to swap these. These may or may not be dry enough, um, but we're you're getting the idea because we're going to do the same, just swiping. And you know, you can also make these very wispy and only put a little bit, just swipe a little bit across the top. So I think I'm gonna, actually I'm gonna try one like that. I'm gonna just do that. Oh, that's just a little bit. Do you see how this would just be a pretty corner of a card? So I just wanted to show that one. And now we're gonna go to this one. And there you can see all kinds of bubbles. So however the bubbles are going up, they just keep changing. Fun. And you can go ahead and pop the bubbles or just let them sit. But look what a variegated fun color that is. Yeah, a little oh, those gruesome. are cool. Nice little gruesome. Yours is a little gruesome. Hey, you could make some great Halloween cards. Yeah, that could be a good thing. But I love that. Isn't that just really a very cool? So then here are some other ideas. So <laughs> I am not using watercolor paper. And I'm going to show you. I, first, I was debating. Now, this is watercolor paper. So it gives a little different look. That's really cool, too. So this is like the first one. That's because I couldn't find it. So you can experiment. But I also think since everyone doesn't have watercolor, Either works fine. As these dry, you can see they get a little wrinkled. I tried spritzing them on the back first, and that didn't really help. So I think you do this in one day, and then you just put weights on them overnight. And then I had no problem well, making my cards. So all of the cards I'm showing are made with just regular cardstock. Mm. So anyway, it's very cool. And now we're going to look at some more. And then, um, OK, I, I love this card. And you see how this has two different blues. I'd love to have done this, but we were only going to mess with two because I'm not sure if this is going to be an interesting computer, table, phone. We'll see what it looks like here. Um, but I just think that um, this is so pretty. So I used I used Azure Afternoon was my first one and then added some Starry Sky. So you can see how they get really light. Like that red is cherry cobbler we're using, but it actually matches with a pink, one of the pink papers or melon or one of those. So you're after it dries, you're going to see what it goes with. But I just love these little sea turtles put in there. This is just, and then you're seeing this on the outside. And this could have all kinds of things. So this is um, just uh, a fun thing. And then the other thing that you can do is use die cuts, of course. So here is another gorgeous card. And look how this, this is so soft. This is old olive on the back. And it looks like sea foam. But do you see this, which is the same one as this, was die cut out of a colorful paper like this. So yeah, so you can just see. So we had colors like that. That's what this is going to look like done. And I just thought, that's really cool. So this, all the layers on this were done this way. You can also, here's a nostalgia card for you. Who, you know, well, this makes me think of vintage paper doilies too. Have you seen those where they have all those fun little colors in them? But I also makes me think of, you know, my grandma. I remember her crocheting and doing things with that thin, uh, you know, the thin, the, the, the threads. And then they'd be a little bit multicolored. And that's just what this made me think of, kind of that vintage look. So this page I chose to use one that was whiskier, but this would be pretty. And then I cut off the bottom there and used that for the words. So using that for that. The water, uh, the cups have a one quarter cup of water or thereabouts. I didn't measure, but about that much. 
And um, Joan says, thank you, Hank, for bringing sunshine into your grandparents' life. Oh, we just love it. And isn't it fun, all of you crafters, when you get to share what you love with people? And then one more. So the day's going to be shorter, you know, because we have things to do. Um, but I think this just been so fun. And then this one is using the punch. Actually, um, I would have Tim to see if the flower punch was out there. But to see about, it's the... That little flower punch. We just punched out a bunch of things and just assembled that little, you little flowers. Nice. See if there's a flower punch sitting right on there. It has a looks bunch like of little that. flowers. Yeah, kind of looks like that. Um, but then these are all just sort of bent and put together. So it's your raw materials to do all kinds of things. Um, so, yeah, well, this could be an outside thing and it might attract some neighbor kids. If you've got young kids in the neighborhood, how fun would this, you know, and they like to go out and blow bubbles anyway. So it's just doing something different. Uh, so I think... We're going to lay out all the cards, but I think I will move these down and I'll have to figure out what, how we're going to finish these cards at a later time. But first, oh, I'll just move this off now. So we'll, we'll have a little cleanup here to do. Let's lay out the cards that we made. And I want Hank to pick his favorite. And he likes to do it by ruling them out. So his least favorite first. So he can do that. Well, so my favorite first is random. Oh, oh, it's random. So he said just ones he knows aren't going to be his favorite. But I think so. These are several techniques. So on my blog, there will be the the uh, project sheet on how to do these, but also close ups of all the pictures and what else they used and the technique that we used on them. So what a fun display of cards that are each unique. The technique was the same, but they're each unique. So what do you think? And what do you guys think is going to be the winning card here? I, I love to see, look at the difference. The white is gorgeous and just plain black is gorgeous. I just think, and then there, the multicolored. And I thought, it's just so fun what you can do with these. All right. Your finder is finding nothing. Okay. So that's okay. We, we've moved on. Okay. You can start handing them to me. We're going to go down to the favorite. So people are going to guess here. Mm-hmm. That's your favorite or the least favorite? No, oh, he's moving them out. He's going to save it. Okay, he's going to save it. And I'd like to hear what your guys' favorite is. What do you, And what do you think you would use of these techniques? So this is kind of fun. But you really can see, I just did all these. I did not plan these cards first. I just did a whole bunch of backgrounds. And then I just looked at them and tried to decide, oh, what should I do with this? And that's kind of what makes it fun. Because then you're working out of your, out of your thing. We're getting there. So this month in All Good Cards Club, we are doing, as I mentioned, the panel, fun full cards. The next month, we're going to be doing some of my favorite background techniques. This is going to be in there as just a bonus. We aren't like doing it again, but I always add these in. But this is just an idea. I love working with backgrounds in the same sense that you yes. work with something and then we take it deeper and do all kinds of things with it like this. I just love that. All right. And that was the one we saw a whole bunch of turtles on here. So and thanks you guys. If I got to pick, I would have picked the same one. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, these were fun. Thank you for joining us. And now of course in the back porch stampers, we want to see your cards that you do with the bubble technique. So throw back to, you know, we can all be young again, have something fun to do. Um, I actually, think this would probably even work if you just have bubble containers, you know, if you have around because you've got kids, add some more reinker to that. And you could probably just blow bubbles too. So all, everything related to blowing bubbles works on our, on our, um, on our weekly challenge. So very fun, everyone. See you on Monday. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye. Bye.